Hey everyone, Heather Earls here. Thanks for coming on today's episode. This week, like every week, I'll be talking about natural living and healthy tips that will get you to rethink how you live and what products or habits you can easily change to better your life. So let's get started. Hey you guys, and welcome to this week's Urban Wisdom. Well, every once in a while, it would be best if you gave yourself a treat. And by that, I mean not counting carbs and sugars. Now don't go crazy and think I want you to fall off the bandwagon of health. No, I'm just suggesting you treat yourself to something familiar and homemade once in a while. And that's why, you guys, this week's post is going to be quick and easy homemade waffles. I either make these easy homemade waffles, pancakes, or French toast for the family once every weekend. If I don't, the kids have a revolt and try chewing off my leg. Seriously, they love their easy homemade waffles or carb breakfast. You will too once you try them. Now you guys, this recipe is by Anna Nelson Smith and comes from our family cookbook. Now here is the recipe. The items you need is a waffle maker, a large mixing bowl, a small mixing bowl, a whisk, fork, or handled or handheld, excuse me, beaters. Your ingredients. One and three quarter cups flour. This is for um, a single batch. Two teaspoons baking powder. 3 teaspoons sugar, half teaspoon salt, 3 eggs, 1 third cup vegetable oil, or if you want a healthier choice of oil, I use the avocado oil. And then there's 1 and a half cups of milk. Now the directions. Measure the dry ingredients and mix them in a medium-sized bowl. In a smaller bowl, combine and mix your eggs, milk, and oil. Now pour the wet ingredients into your dry ingredients and stir them together. Do not overmix as it will make your batter tough. Now with your waffle maker warmed, pour in the approximate measurement, two thirds to one cup of batter, just depends on what your waffle maker takes. Um, And then you, some you have to spray before each use. I usually just spray mine once, um, with an avocado spray or your choice of cooking spray. And then the rest of the time, it doesn't stick. Now you wanna close the lid and bake. Now you can serve this with bacon, eggs, and your choice fruit to make a complete and wholesome meal. I like to take my bacon, put it on parchment paper on a pan and bake it in the oven. It bakes all at one time and plus then the parchment paper, you just pour the grease out of it, roll the parchment paper, throw it away and your pan is still clean. Love that. Plus you can um, cook an entire pack of bacon at one time. Now all that's left to do you guys is enjoy your breakfast and share about your week. And as a bonus, I want to give you a little poem just because I liked it. So it says, blessed are the mothers of the earth for they have combined the practical and the spiritual into one workable way of life. They have darned little stockings, mended little dresses, washed little faces, and pointed little eyes to the stars and little souls to eternal things. And that's by William L. Stidger. Have a healthy week, you guys. Love you. Thanks for listening to today's episode of Urban Wisdom and Natural Living. Tune in next week where I'll broadcast live every Monday morning at 8 a.m. If you miss it live, hold those tears and head on over to my blog, which is heatherearls.com. That's Heather, E-A-R-L-E-S.com. There you can have 24-7 access or right here on iTunes. If you want to follow me on social media, you'll find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and Pinterest. Have a healthy week.